Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, How to Paint Watercolours with me, Colin. And I thought I chose this one today and it's going to be a mountain night scene. And as you can tell, I've just stretched my paper and I'm leaving a very thin film of water on it, just removing any excess off the sides. <clears throat> And I actually just want to dry the mountain off, all these mountain ridges. What I'm actually going to do is re-wet the sky area, but just bring it down to where the mountains are. Just following the line. Remember your paper's still wet up here. I'm just making sure the air will end up with no hard edges. This is Prussian blue and indigo. And this is the first wash, and it's a weaker wash. <clears throat> I'll be putting a stronger one on and lifting some paint out around the mountain's edge and I just want to leave this okay the shine's just disappearing a bit on the um, paper so I'm just going to come around to the stronger version same colour indigo and Prussian blue and I just want to see how far this will go and I'm just creating some interesting patterns really I'm just going to dampen the kitchen towel because I want to just to start to, I don't want it to be too thirsty when I start taking the, the evening clouds out. And I do want some of the thinner wash to show through. And we can also strengthen up some areas as well. Then we have some indigo Prussian blue with some burnt umber. We're just going to make areas just extra dark. But not everywhere, we're just allowing most of this to have its way. <clears throat> we're going to leave that to dry. I think that looks interesting. I'm starting to fiddle, so I'm going to stop. Okay, the sky is dried off now, so what we're going to do is we're going to re-wet the shadow side of this mountain. You can do this to all three. And then with the indigo and burnt umber, with some Prussian blue, and I'm just letting it down with some water. We don't want this to be too strong, but we do want to see the notice, the difference in colour. And I've got the board set at an angle because, like I said, this colour has a tendency to drift it can be quite difficult I'm just making sure that the strength is right just touching it in and, and just allowing it to drift gently manoeuvring it in certain areas and leaving some untouched just to give some variation come to the middle peak just slightly weaker just gently adding colour. Remember this will dry an awful lot lighter, a bit like the sky. Just trying to give a little bit of shape to these background mountains. And on this one, I'm just going to let it drift all the way down, softening the back one in with some clean water, soften the edges off. Another peak here. Once again, same colour. <clears throat> Soften this completely. Same with this one. Soften it completely. And then we're going to leave this to dry. Okay, just re-wet the paper as it's drying, as you're clipping it round, or even if you've got it taped down, just re-wet the bottom bit that's not painted, and this will keep your paper stretched and wet. I'm going to re-wet this back mountain here, but I'm not going to do it all. I'm, I want to leave um, some white patches. And then into this, I'm taking the second blue, which is a, a thicker mix, which is the darker blue here. And we're just going to add this just where we've put the water. And we're going to allow this to drift. Just defining the outside edge of the mountains, softening the edges off with a damp brush gently bringing the two colours together just bring that one 
the front of that one. Round to this peak, just define the outside edge. Hit and miss, just leave some white paper showing. Same colour as there. Once again, damp brush, soften the edges off. Clean water once again. Soften the edges off. And I just want to drop in places some of the darker mixture just to bring the outline edge of the mountain in. Indigo, Prussian blue, and burnt umber. Just, just soften that edge. Then we're going to leave this to dry for a few minutes. Okay, now the, the mountains are quite dry. I'm just going to run some water in this background edge here where the tree line meets the lake all the way along. Then with your dark shadow mountain mixture, I'm using a dagger brush for this, but you can use a uh, flat brush or you could use a script liner. And I'm just checking this for strength. And just start above where you've put the water, where you've added the water. And just allow the trees to drift into the water. Just pull it in. You see how I'm doing it? Just pulling it into the water. Don't make all your trees the same size. Otherwise they all look like soldiers, taller ones. Maybe there's a hill here. And I want it to pale off as we go into this side here because there will be extra trees. <clears throat> I'm just gonna darken one or two areas just to allow variation. This is indigo and Prussian blue with some Indian yellow and it's a very dark green. I want to just run this along the bottom edge, hit and miss. Indigo Prussian blue with some burnt umber, very dark now. Just pulling this green up to the trees. Then brush, lift out some paint a little bit, create a little bit of mist. And then we'll leave this to dry. And then with some very, very strong Cadmium yellow light. I'm going to bring some light in to I'm gonna put the top of the tree in with this. And you see how that stands out very, very opaque, which allows you to paint just slightly light over dark, like in oil paint. We'll have one here, one here. Then with my small <clears throat> mop brush. Now I actually want to add the highlights on first because you can always darken it. Some highlights in here. Just touching the mop brush onto it. I'm just bringing it down to where the water line is near enough and then I'm stopping. I'll just drop some nice highlights on the top here. Okay, the cadmium yellow is dry and this is another mixture of green. It's um, darker than the yellow, but not as... I'm going to put three colours of green on two colours, including the cadmium yellow. Prussian blue, indigo, Indian yellow. And I just want to bring this in on the right-hand side. See how most of the highlight yellow disappears. Don't bring it into the water otherwise everything will run. I'm just going to soften one or two edges in here back. Taking some clean water once again and I'm going to re-wet this, re-wet the whole of this land mass here. I want this to be reasonably dark so I'm going to put some of this dark green in. Prussian blue, indigo and Indian yellow and I'm taking some of the background tree colour I want to put this in nice and dark. Prussian blue indigo and burnt umber. And I'm going to drop this in just along the bottom and let it drift up. I'm just going to lift a little bit of paint out just to create a little bit of interest. 
just enough to make the paint dry and even sort of bring it up around the edge just losing that hard edge there some clean water once again I'm going to wet the bottom part once again it's the background tube colour Prussian blue burnt umber with indigo some of the nice dark green Prussian blue burnt umber and indigo just giving some dark lift a tiny bit of paint out and just allow it to backfill it it will give a little bit of variation but I want it quite dark okay it's all nice and dry now so I'm going to go back to this very very dark green here I'm just going to put a little bit on the brush and we're just going to test it first just to make sure I haven't got too much on and we're going to add this on the right hand side of your evergreens allowing all three colors to show through I hope see that once again just stopping short of where the water is on the left hand side on these and I just want to put a little tiny bit along here and now with some clean water we're going to wet the whole of the lake area and we're going to be careful not to touch the other paint bring it into the bush but don't touch the yellow with your original light wash of the sky colour indigo Prussian blue bring this all the way across all horizontal strokes I'm actually going to leave it lighter as we come towards the foreground just to allow this to stand out a bit more this one here will be darker the light's coming across here catching the tips of these fir trees and move on to the thicker mixture same colour but it's just stronger less water in it nice and dark here give my arm I'm just going to soften all this and all the edges in Indigo, Prussian Blue and Burnt Umber same colour as the background trees and we'll just drop this in just along this edge here just drop some here as well dark and mysterious into this corner ok the shine's just disappeared off the paper and I'm just going to add the reflections in from these back trees now the dark parts softening that edge off with your mid green I'm going to drop this in here and here and with your really dark green a couple of drops of cadmium yellow and I have to leave this I'm afraid so we completely dry okay we can slowly bring the uh, painting forward once again so I'm moving straight back to the really dark green and we're going to bring these trees across the water just bringing them together here soften the base of this into the, the landmass area here and I also want to add some another layer onto these trees here just to make them a bit darker bring in a little extra bush and sugar down here Prussian blue indigo and salt marine with burnt umber just going to add some real darks to it as this is a, a night time picture or evening time once again just bringing some movement to this land and push, soften everything in. I also want to bring a bit of dark in here which is my rigger brush just flicking some grasses up Okay, 
not everything's dry but I'm just bringing up the highlights a little bit more this is white gouache with a cadmium yellow added to it and I just want to touch in some highlights or we touched them in just where you think they'd hit you sort of have to stand back and have a look just to see I'm just going to take a, a craft lathe and we're just going to put some maybe there's a branch or two dead coming out here then taking the ruler I'm just going to run some wind streaks just across the lake just to add movement to the water and it helps to break up the reflections Now you get round to the best fit. This is where you get to sign it, mount it and frame it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click the like button and subscribe. Subscribers are always welcome. And if you'd like to see the other videos I've made for YouTube, I'll leave a link in the description box and it will take you straight to them. So once again, thank you very much for watching.